Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and this is your energy update for my twin flames out there. Um, if you're not familiar, I also have another channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings for all the zodiac signs. But this is for my twin flames. This is for you guys. So I'm going to look at the energy. I'm going to see what's going on. Um, and if you find yourself dealing with a twin, your twin flame, this reading can certainly hit home for you. Although it does not limit, okay, it is not limited to just twin flame. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I am also offering my personal love readings. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in that, do check me out, okay? So let's jump right in. Oops. All right, messages for my twin flames out there. Eternal love, eternal love. It says love is love is love and it transcends physical death. So I feel like there definitely yeah, was an ending between you and your twin, right? We have two souls that are reunited, that are, I'm sorry, united, okay? In the skeleton form, physical, um, at one point. But it looks like there was some kind of ending here, right? But your souls are still connected. It's telling me that the love is still there, even though you guys are not together in the physical form, okay? Not in a 3D dimension. There is the eternal love and i feel like some of you guys your person was struggling maybe with really showing that love in the physical form okay you could have been dealing with someone who had some issues with showing showing the, the love in terms of not just saying it right but actually showing like by behavior right actually being there for you being present um you know whether it's just um showing you through actions you know i feel like a lot of you guys you felt this person didn't really show you something here they didn't show you the real how love um how real the love was between you guys even though it really was real because this eternal love is unconditional it doesn't die okay we have the invisibility energy authenticity so this is someone who, who played invisible Okay, I'm getting that they didn't want to be seen. This is someone who acted as if, um, you know, it wasn't real. They acted as if something here wasn't real because they didn't want to acknowledge that they were in love with you. So you could have been dealing with someone who had some vulnerability issues. They didn't want to be authentic. Okay, there was something here about them being authentic, being true to who they are, being true to um, you, that they actually were really in love with you. So I feel like this is someone who was um, unawakened for sure because they're walking around like this, okay? They're walking around in this energy of not being, um, it not being who they really are, not being authentic, not being true. And so some of you guys, you got to a point where it was like, who are you? You questioned who this person was, who you fell in love with. There may have been some things you saw in this person that you never knew existed. So they showed you a whole different side of them because they played invisible. We have the zombie energy. Zombie, it says control. So there's something about this person trying to control their feelings, control themselves. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, there was an energy of wanting some kind of movement, wanting change. Maybe you wanted this person to commit. You wanted this person to um, move things forward. And I feel like they resisted. With this zombie energy, this person resisted a lot. They tried so hard to um, control their feelings, control their desire um, to move forward with you, to give, okay, fully and wholesomely. This is someone who really acted as if, I'm getting they played you for a fool. They acted as if this love was nothing to them. So there could have been an ending because this person honestly did not want to live in that energy of being in love with you, right? They didn't want to own it. So they played dead, they played invisible, right? That zombie energy, they played dead. They act like, oh, this is nothing. So when something here ended, when a relationship ended, they're like, oh, it's okay. It's all good by me. It's all good. We have Lady de los Muertes. It says acceptance and equality. So there could have been some issues regarding equal give and take, equality. It's almost like this person expected you to be something that you wasn't. I feel like they had a lot, a lot of high expectations, but those same expectations, they didn't hold themselves to. Okay, so there could have been some issues with you... Um, you feeling as if you gave a lot more than this person did, but also feeling as if they didn't appreciate you for what you did, okay? So there's something about you going above and beyond, wanting to give um, in, in a manner that you felt, you know, you felt like this person um, 
deserved this treatment. You felt you felt in love, so you gave, you gave, 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 and this person didn't appreciate it. And so there was a situation here where um, they didn't really accept the connection. Therefore, they wasn't able to give in the equal just manner. They didn't give you what you deserve, but you gave them more than enough, right? We have forgiveness. Reducing burden. This person wants to ask for forgiveness. They're sorry. They feel bad for something they've done. They hurt you. They disappointed you. This is someone who's really striving um, to be forgiven, but they don't know how. I'm getting this is someone who may try to reach out to you. Your, your twin may try to reach out to you. Um, and I'm getting give you a, a bouquet of flowers. They may have something to give you to be forgiven for something they've done. Okay, I need the messages. We have the skeleton energy. This is the Halloween theme. As you guys know, um, Halloween is coming up. We have the strength card. So there's something about this person feeling like, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't. I'm not strong enough, right? Having doubts or fears about their ability to move forward with you. Um, again, this is part of their control, trying to control something. And what happens when you're always trying to be in control, things don't go your way. Right? We always talk about surrendering on this Twin Flame channel. And your person wasn't ready to surrender. Just give in to it. No, they had to fight it. Right? And now they're in the energy of wanting to be forgiven, but they're trying to come up with the strength, the willpower to come to you. Realizing that something here died. Realizing that they're just a skeleton now. Right? That they hold no weight in this connection anymore. They have no control at this point. Right? They were trying so hard to control. Now they have no control. No control over you. No control of what happens. We have the jack-o'-lantern energy, protection. So your person was trying to protect themselves, right? In the act of, <laughs> see, they tried to love you, but they also tried to protect their heart, right? They wanted to experience love. They fell in love with you, but they didn't realize that, oh, I have to be open. I have to be vulnerable. I have to express. I have to do this. And they weren't ready for that. So what they were trying to do is protect their heart while falling in love with you. And they realize that they can't do both. So I feel like there was a real strong desire for this person to protect themselves at all costs. They were very guarded in nature. Okay, this is someone who may have gone through some kind of childhood issues or trauma. And so they went into this connection thinking that, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna hold back my feelings. I'm not going to let my heart get involved. I'm gonna maybe have fun. But no, they fell in love with you. We have the eternal love. Love is love is love. So they fell in love with you thinking that they would never get to that place. And they fooled themselves. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Um, let me get my epiphany cards. This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. You guys have seen this before. Let's get some messages from the epiphany. Ready to release this love block. So this is speaking about the love block that your person um, has right now. It's telling me that they feel like they're restricted. They feel, you know, this is someone who's feeling stuck, right? They're feeling tied and bound. We have a rope over someone's legs um we have someone here trying to they're looking at them shadow they're looking at their own shadow and they're trying to release something they're trying to get out of this place where they feel um stuck they feel tied they feel um in a cage like energy so i feel like this is someone who's really striving to overcome some barriers they put up regarding love because again they didn't expect to fall in love with you they didn't expect it but when they did right they actually wanted to experience the love, but then they realized that there's a big love block here, right? They never got a chance to release this themselves from this love block. So unfortunately, you met this person, fell in love with each other, and you know realized that they can't go but so far. So what do they do? They, they backed up, they sabotaged, they ghosted you, they wasn't ready. We have sitting in a puddle of self-pity. I'm getting rainy days are really difficult for this person right now because they're constantly thinking about you. There's something about them looking at their phone, wishing that you're going to call them. Um, I feel like they want to ask for forgiveness. They want to reach out with a text message or a DM or a phone call, but then they literally just sit by the phone and they cry. This is someone who's really pathetic right now. They're pathetic because this is someone who has a lot of regrets about how they treated you and they don't know how to reach out right now. So they're sitting in a big puddle of self-pity right? They're not strong enough. This is someone who's trying to move forward, but they really can't. They're finding themselves that they're just, they're disappointed. They have a lot of regrets about how they acted and they feel like they can't come towards you right now. 
All right, we also have devotion, hopelessly devoted to you. So that's that eternal love energy. So even if you guys are not together in the actual flesh, they're still devoted to you. They still have love for you, right? Even if you guys are physically, you know, you're going down to them past, you are separated. They are still hopelessly devoted to you, okay? So this is someone who definitely is realizing their love for you is still there. Deep, dark times and isolation. I need time alone. So this is that hermit energy. They're doing a lot of thinking now. So now you got them in the energy of, you know, they're withdrawing from society. They're not doing things that they typically do in a typical day, right? Um, I'm getting like their work life may be affected. Maybe they're not as productive right now at work because they got their back turned toward life. They're not happy right now. They feel alone. They feel by themselves. They feel shut out by... Um, people that they love they feel shut out by you we got too much to think about they're in their head eight of swords energy constantly thinking 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 overthinking what do i do how do i move forward what am i gonna how am i get myself out of this situation here right because i was living a lie i wasn't being authentic i wasn't being true to who i i really was i was playing invisible and now i feel alone now i don't know how to get myself out of this mess here all right, we have deep spiritual awakening underway. So this is speaking about a spiritual awakening. This person is waking up, right? I told you that they were unawake. They were they were not woken, right? So there's the energy of going through some kind of deep spiritual awakening, becoming um, aware of what this connection is, becoming aware of their feelings for you, right? This is someone who's now willing to do the work, okay? We have road to recovery. So they realize there's a long road ahead of them, right? If they want to do better, if they want to come back in your life, it's not going to be that easy. Mm -mm. It's not going to be a walk in the park. They got some making up to do. They got to recover. They have to repair the damage. Because a lot of you guys, I feel like they could have said a lot of hurtful things to you. They could have really treated you as if you were nothing. They pushed you to the side. They left you out on the sidewalk. They kicked you out of their house. They told me, they told you to never call them again, right? Whatever happened, they realized that they got a long road ahead of them if they want to repair it, right? If they want to come back together and get in your good graces, oh yeah, they got to work for it. Awaiting this union. So there's the energy of waiting um, a union between you and them. Okay, this is definitely that twin flame connection, twin flame energy. They want to come back together. They want to be with you. They want to have a reunion. They want to reconcile with you. They still miss you. They love you. This is a very strong energy. Um, love is love. I still love with you, even though I couldn't love you at that time, at that moment. I had some things I had to do and take care of. Okay, so there's an energy your person knows. They know what this is. They know that the love is real. Okay. All right. Any other messages for my twins out there? Hold on, y'all. Okay. Let's see. Any other messages for my twins? Completion. Okay. So some of you guys, um, wow, they're realizing that you were the missing puzzle piece in their life. You completed them. Do you see this puzzle piece? They realize that you were the one that made their life feel complete, okay? You are the missing puzzle piece. So just when you guys broke up or separated, they felt broken. They felt like they were fragmented, right? They felt like now they're in this place of lack because they're, they're, there's something missing in their life. And they realized it after you were gone. So they didn't realize it when you were there because they, they were selfish, right? They didn't realize it, but now they're awakening to what you mean to them, Okay. All right. Any other messages? We have the burden. So your person is feeling burdened right now about the, the journey forward. We have road to recovery. So this is someone here who's looking in the horizon. They're like, what the hell do I got to do to come back in my person's life? Well, I got to climb these damn mountains. I got to be forgiven. I got to make up for something I didn't do. And look at their face. They're like, what the hell? I don't know if I can do this. The strength card, right? This is someone who realized that they got a lot, a lot to repair, okay? There's a lot of work ahead of them if they want to come back in your life. So they feel there's a lot of burdens right now they're carrying. 
clinging to the past. It's like the five of cups energy. They're constantly thinking about what they don't have. They're thinking about what they messed up. They're thinking about how they messed up, how they let you down. A lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment here with the five of cups energy clinging, but they're clinging to you. So this is someone who may have never been needy. They may have never been the kind of person to cling on to people or to things or to objects, but for some reason, they can't seem to move past you. They thought that they'd be able to forget you. They'll ghost you and they'll never think about you. No, that's wrong. What they're realizing that as soon as they let you go, they want you back. They realize how much they miss you. So this is someone who's clinging to what they had with you, all the good times, all the good memories, right? It's something about you that you, you brought a lot of vibrant energy to their life. You brought a lot of fun. You brought a lot of flavor, okay? And there's something about their life has not been the same without you since you guys have gone down different paths. So they're thinking about what you mean to them again, okay? Um, letting go came out in the verse. So this is that eight of cups energy. They want to come back. Eight of cups came out in the verse. So this is the energy of, I want to come back. Is the door still open for me? This is someone who's teary eyed. We got a lot of water energy. It's talking about, again, some, um, feelings, emotions, water has to deal with our feelings, and emotions. So this is someone who's very much in their emotions right now. They want to come back in your life, but they're like, well, what the hell do I got to do? What do I have to do to come back in? A lot of you guys, they see that now you're very guarded, right? At first, they were guarded. They were very protected. They were closed off. But now, they see that you're that same way because you're now treating them how they treated you, right? You gave them a whole... Now, you're giving them a dose of their own medicine. So, now, they want to come back and they're like, well, damn, I don't know if the door's still open. We have the exhaustion card. This person is trying to get over some kind of um, difficult situation in their life. This is someone who's exhausted. They're, they're in their um, they're in that energy of feeling tired, feeling wounded. They don't know how to move past this right now. They want to almost give up, but they know they shouldn't. Okay, This is the energy of still wanting to strive for something, still desiring something enough. But they feel like, well, damn, I'm just going to fall down flat on the floor because I don't know if I can do this. So they're questioning their ability to do something here. All right, let's see what other um, unspoken messages we have for your person. All right, the unspoken love messages for my twin flames out there. What messages do we have for my twin flames out there? I miss you now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. Yeah, this person misses you. But again, they didn't miss you until you left. They didn't miss you until they pushed you away. As soon as you go out the door, as soon as you leave, as soon as they say, oh, I'm, I'm done with this, that's when they miss you, right? That's when all of a sudden they feel these strong feelings of love, right? Now they're like, well, damn, I feel broken. I feel incomplete. I'm scared you will not accept me now. So now they're freaking out. What the hell do I do? How do I come back in, in my person's life? I don't think they're going to look at me the same. They're probably disappointed. They probably don't even want to see my damn face, right? I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. That's that protective energy, right? They're protecting their heart. They didn't want to um, be hurt again. Maybe they dealt with betrayal in the past and they don't want to express themselves. They had a difficult time being vulnerable. They didn't want to be open with you. And so that was the demise of this connection. Hurting you hurt me even more. So they hurt you, but hell, they hurt themselves too. Hurting you help hurt them, right? They thought they were only going to, you know, just have fun, come in here and just like win your heart and then they can just leave and not feel any hurt. No, they got emotionally invested in this connection too, but they didn't show it. That's the difference. I should have listened to my intuition. Their intuition was telling them something here and they ignored it. They didn't go down the divine path that they were supposed to go with regard to you. And so they made a detour. They took another, de they made another um, decision. They took a whole nother road. And so they're saying to themselves, well, damn, I should have listened to my intuition because my intuition was right about you, about the connection. The distance between us is killing me. So now they're feeling like, well, damn, I lost my person. The separation, the physical separation, the, the emotional separation is taking a toll on me. It's killing me. It's actually causing a death within this person, a soul death. But this soul death is allowing a person to look at themselves, right? There's a soul rebirth. They're awakening. They're awakening to this connection, to this twin flame connection. So this death is actually beneficial, 
because it could be breaking down this love block because they want to release this love block. This is ready to release it. And the only reason why they're ready to release is because they're coming awake into what this love was. And they're tired of fighting this. They're exhausted. I'm tired of fighting this. I can't keep doing this. I want to let go of the burden. I'm, I'm hurting, right? So that is what I'm seeing with my twins out there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, sub like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you, okay? Take care, y'all. Bye.